Welcome to Exeometry Course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2020. So we are going to solve this problem number 10 and this problem is from the topic abstract algebra. So let us have a look on this question. What it says, consider the following group under the matrix multiplication. So this is your group. Okay, we don't need to check why it is a group. It is already given to you that it's a group. Now, then the center of the group is isomorphic too. So these are your options. Okay. So they are saying that center of the group is isomorphic to which group. Okay. So these are your four options. Now, let us come back. So firstly, what we need, we need to define center, uh, center for this group. Okay. So let me write that. Okay. Let me use firstly. Uh, white pen for you. Okay, okay. Now, so center is generally denoted by H. So Z of H will be denoted as so it will consist of matrices. Okay, because your group is of matrices, so its center will also consist of matrices. So it will consist of matrices from H. But what is the condition that AB should be equal to BA for all B belongs to H. Okay. So this is the condition for the center. Now, just need, we need to figure out how uh, we need to figure out the center for this H firstly. Okay. So what I will do, I will take two elements from uh, H. Okay. So let us suppose that A is an element from Z of H, okay, and B is an element from general element from H, okay. A is a fixed element and B is a general element. So now let us write them properly. So let us say this is 1 P Q, 1, sorry, not 1, 0. 1 R 0 0 1. Now let us choose B. So let me write B like this 1 P 1 Q 1. Right? 0 1 R 1 0 0 1. Okay. So we got our A and B. Now we need to find conditions on P, Q and R. Okay. These are, uh, we need to find conditions on these three elements P, Q and R such that they commute with every element from H. So this is a general element from H. Okay. We need conditions on P, Q, R. So from where we will get condition? We will get conditions from this equation. Okay. So if you will write A, B. Okay. If you will write a b then you will I have already calculated I am not going to calculate here just multiply these two matrices then what will happen you will get 1 p 1 plus p okay and q plus p r 1 plus q okay 0 1 and here you will get R1 plus R. Okay. And finally, you are getting 0, 0, 1. Now, just find out B of A. So, if you will try to find out B of A, you will get 1 plus uh, P1. Okay, not plus. This, this is not plus. I should erase this. Okay. So, 1 plus P plus P1, I think. And here you will get Q plus PR1 plus uh, Q plus PR1 plus Q1. Okay. Okay. Q1 you will get. Here also you are getting Q1. Okay. I missed that. Now 0, 1. And here you will get R plus R1. And uh, you will get 0, 0, 1 here. So this matrix is actually B of A. We are trying to find out the conditions on PQR such that this given matrix A commutes with 
a general matrix B from H. Okay. Now, you know that uh, two matrices are equivalent if their corresponding elements are equal. So that means this element, this element should be equal to this element, right? So now you have to just compare. Now since this is addition and addition is commutative, okay? In R, it is commutative. Therefore, uh, this is already equal. This is already equal. R1 plus R is already equal to R1 plus R. So we have to just tackle this one, okay? So from here, what you are getting that, okay, there is also a, a, a problem here, a misprint here. This is P1R, okay? This is P1 of R. I will write that properly here. The A13 element I am writing here, PR1 plus Q. And here you have Q plus P1R plus q1 right now by the cancellation property in the group you will have that q1 will be cancelled by this q1 and q will be cancelled by q okay it's a group so we can do that now this r1 is arbitrary and this p1 is also arbitrary right this r1 is arbitrary and p1 is also arbitrary now you need conditions on p such that p and r such that these two are equal you are getting my point or not? Now, since this R1 is arbitrary and this P1 is arbitrary, so finally what you can conclude that P has P is equal to R is equal to 0. Okay, just think over it a little bit. You will finally will be able to check why these two things are 0. Okay, this will be an exercise for you, you can say. Okay, it's very easy to check. Just pick two elements from R and then finally conclude that P is equal to R is equal to 0. Okay, this is an important condition that we are getting here. Now, so finally what you have done, you have proved that Z of H is nothing else. It's like this. It consists of all such matrices. Uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. Such that Q belongs to R. Now, this is your Z of H. Now, what I am going to do, I will show that this Z of H, okay, this Z of H is isomorphic to R. In order to show that, we, knew, we need to find out an isomorphism. Let us say phi is isomorphism from z of h to r okay we need to find such phi okay what is the operation here it's addition and here you have matrix multiplication okay now we need to find out this phi such that phi is an isomorphism between these two what is the definition for isomorphism the definition for isomorphism is that phi should be a homomorphism plus it should be one one and on two okay so now let us begin so i will take let let me let me take an element from here phi of uh okay phi of i am taking an element from z of h right so i am mapping this element to where i am mapping this to q so this is your uh, this is your map that I am defining. We need to show that this map is isomorphism. In order to show that this is an isomorphism, firstly, what do we need to show? We need to show that P of A B is equal to P A plus P B. Why I am doing so? Because here the the operation in this Z of H is multiplication. And on the right hand side, it's addition, right? So this should happen for all a comma b belongs to uh, where z of h. Okay. Second is what we need to show. We need to show that phi or you can say p is bijective. So these are the only two things that we have to show. So we are done with that. Now I will give this thing exercise to you to show these two things okay it's very easy to show it's just a calculation i just wanted to you show you this map and 
after that the whole work is done okay work first and second is totally based on the calculation and it's an intermediate level uh, calculation okay so from here what you are proving that your z of h under the multiplication sign is actually isomorphic to r plus you are getting my point or not okay so this is how we should proceed in the exam okay so it's a little bit long question i i can say because uh, you know you need to check whether this is the isomorphism or not okay this is a little bit long process for the exam but if you are familiar with these type of groups okay this 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 is a particular group in group theory if you have studied group theory thoroughly uh, you must have done this this kind of group so if you have experience lot in group theory you can do this question directly but if you don't have experience you have to calculate everything there you're getting my point or not so this is how uh, group theory works that you have to remember many statements many examples but uh, one way is to uh, always figure out that by just doing calculation you can always end up with your solution okay so this is how we should proceed so thank you